until recently, I didn't know that caulking guns had such a thing as thrust ratio or gear ratio. I thought you just bought a caulking gun and they all were the same. Well, it's not the case. Uh, for example, if this gun has a 3 to 1 thrust ratio in, and this one has a 12 to 1 thrust ratio, 18 to 1, 25 to 1. Well, what does all of that mean? <clears throat> well, let me give you an example. Here's a, a, a gun, a caulking gun, with a 3 to 1 thrust ratio. And what that means to you is that if I put one pound of pressure on this trigger here, then I'm exerting um, three pounds of pressure at this point. So depending on the gun I'm using, if I use this one, 12 pounds, if I put one pound of pressure on the trigger, I'm exerting 12 pounds on the uh, a caulking tube. And this is an 18 to one thrust ratio. So when I pull the trigger, um, if I put one pound of pressure on the trigger, I've got 18 pounds here. A lot of pressure. Well, the reason we have to do that is because caulkings, the caulking and the adhesives that come in tubes uh, are different uh, viscosities. Some are very runny and some are extremely thick. This is a 25 to 1 ratio. One pound here, 25 pounds out in the plunger on the back of your cartridge. So uh, I've, I've selected Franklin Tight Grab. Now they are recommending a 25 to 1 uh, thrust ratio, but you can get by with an 18 to 1. They also say that. And so this is an 18 to 1 gun. Now this is their uh, 25 to, uh, Franklin Tight Bonds 25 to, to 1 caulking gun. So what's going to happen when I take this uh, the caulk? that's extremely thick with a recommended thrust ratio of 18 to one minimum, what's gonna happen when I put it into this uh, gun that has a three to one thrust ratio? What do you think? Well, I'm gonna give you an example of what's gonna happen. I've got it in there and here's my three to one. With both hands <laughs> and a lot of energy, I can get that stuff to come out of a three to one gun ratio. Uh, uh, gear ratio. That's a three to one uh, caulking gun. It ain't gonna work. Well, let's uh, let's go up to what they recommend. Uh, let's put it in a gun that has eighteen to one ratio. That's this one. Let me release it. Pull it back. This gun has an 18 to 1 thrust ratio, or gear ratio if you want to call it that. And so now, oh, I watch this, I got one hand, and I'm going to exert one pound of pressure here. And look at that, I'm doing it with no problem. I'm extruding caulk, and it's coming out easy. So that's 18 to 1 thrust ratio. Works out pretty good. There. We'll just clip that off and let it fall. That's an adhesive. It's not uh, caulking. So now, now, that was fairly simple uh, with this uh, 18 to one ratio here. Let's now go to uh, 25 to one. The one that Tight Bond especially makes for this heavy duty tight grab uh, adhesive. So here we are. 25 to 1. Uh, one pound of pressure here. <laughs> I mean, this is so easy. It's like, it's like decorating a cake. That's what it's like. It's really nice. So that's what thrust ratio is all about. When you buy a gun, you want to make sure that you select a gun that has a thrust, thrust ratio that's high enough to handle whatever caulking uh, you're using. And uh, stuff like this, uh, silicone and painter's caulk, you can get by with three to one. But some of these other heavier things, if you're working on your cement on your driveway, putting caulk in, uh, those are areas where a high thrust ratio is necessary. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short clip. Uh, and if you did, give her the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, 
and share it with your friends. Mm -hmm.